well, good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic Live. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. So excited to be with you and share the news with you. I'm really excited about this story because I've really been down today with the news coming out of Washington, D.C. about the FISA court and so on. Speaker Mike Johnson not voting uh, what I feel would have been correct. Uh, I'm really frustrated with that. But all that being said, uh, this is a great story, great exposure, whistleblowers coming forward. And I want you to think back to a time when the left was all about whistleblowers and protect the whistleblowers. And now they seem to not be so excited about whistleblowers because they are blowing up the J6 narrative. So that's what's taking place right now. So I want to thank you so much for joining me on this late night live. I know no notifications went out, but there's still 168 of you on right away. So thank you for joining me. Please do smash that like to help spread this out. Uh, but this is a bad day for Nancy Pelosi. She's had a number of them lately, actually, and I don't feel bad for her whatsoever. Uh, just before I get into the news really quickly, I do want to mention my sponsor. You guys know him well, Mike Lindell, MyPillow, MyPillow.com. Promo code Lumberjack. People that make extravaganza sale is still going on, and you can still get free shipping. And he has the $9.50 slide sandal slipper things, man, with the gel insert. $9.50, the most ridiculous thing because they got him the wrong product and then instead of returning, they kept it. And so all that deal gets passed on to you. So uh, Miss Marlene says she got notified. I only get three notifications a day and I used them up. So usually you would not get a notification at this point, but um, I did send it out on locals. If you are not subscribed on locals, it's a great way to get notifications when I run out of notifications, when there's a breaking news story like this. Uh, so, oh, American Nana, you got your sheets last week. Glad for you. So anyways, we'll get right into this, but Pelosi's insurrection, this out of the gateway pundit, but it's, it's taking from a port report too out of the daily mail. This is a big story. Pelosi's insurrection, national guard whistleblowers to testify. They were ready to de be deployed on January 6th, but Pentagon delayed the orders will destroy J six committees. Big lie. So we're going to go through a little history here as we're going into this, as the article does. And I think they did a really good job of summing this up. So uh, we'll get to the whistleblower part, but just listen to all this. As the Gateway Pundit previously reported, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser were both warned about the security situation prior to January 6th, and both of them turned down National Guard troops at the U.S. Capitol that day. Pelosi and Mayor Muriel Bowser turned down thousands of National Guard troops at the Capitol on January 6th for political reasons. You'll remember Cash Patel's been talking about this. They even talked about this in the Colorado ballot case, but it was to the tune of Trump authorized, I believe it was 10,000 National Guard troops, up to 10,000 National Guard troops. And see, everybody's like, well, why didn't Trump just put them in there? You don't want that to be the case, people. Okay, Muriel Bowser was the one who had to do this. Nancy Pelosi was the one who had to do this. You don't want too much executive power. So anyways, they always say Trump will be a dictator. And then when he doesn't act like a dictator, they're upset. And if he were to act like a dictator, they'd blow their top. It's it's the most disingenuous crap. The left is so full of crap. I just can't stand it. Anyways, uh, again, if you just jumped on, please do smash that like and help get this out. Chris Ray's FBI also refused to notify the Trump administration and his cabinet secretaries that they believed there could be violence like the mass protests at the Capitol that took place that day. And you will remember, I had Joshua Black on, but that was one of the things that really sparked it. Joshua Black was there. They were all assembled behind the line of police officers, and Joshua Black got shot right in the face with a rubber bullet, blew right through his cheek, took out his tooth, blood spilling all over the place. And uh, so that kind of really sparked the outrage. And then they started launching flashbang grenades into the crowd. And that's when the people lost their cool. Um, Nancy Pelosi also refused the National Guard at the U.S. Capitol due to politics. Capitol Police Chief Steve Sund said he asked House and Senate security officials for permission to request that the D.C. National Guard be placed on standby in case he needed quick backup. But they both turn him down. You'll remember Tucker Carlson did that big interview with him. John Solomon from Just the News released an explosive report in 2022 that revealed Capitol Police were first warned about possible violence two weeks before the planned rallies. 
Don't kid yourself, okay? I, I, you know, there was a lot of good folks there, but there were a few bad actors as well, and they knew that ahead of time. I just want you to to know this. There were there were people, uh, you know, but let's face it, uh, people were were ticked off, man. Uh, Pelosi, Mayor Bowser, and other government officials turned down the National Guard anyway. They hoped for an insurrection. This is what we call entrapment in legal terms, people. They wanted this to occur. They wanted to create the environment. Hence the the shot to the face of Joshua Black, the flash flashbangs, and everything else. Um, Solomon says the DHS and District of Columbia were made aware of online threats of violence two weeks before the protest and rally on Friday. The Daily Mail released an explosive report that destroys the J6 committee's narrative on January 6th. So just today, this report was released. At least three National Guard members will testify this coming week that they were ready to be deployed on J6th, but the Pentagon held them back. People, that's this is going to get wild, man. This is going to be testimony that's going to take place. You're going to be able to see it, and you got to share that testimony wherever you can, okay? This directly brings General Milley's actions into question. Cash Patel tipped us off last month that there were more reports like this coming. The Daily Mail reported whistleblowers from the Washington, D.C. National Guard will tell Congress that Donald Trump did want them deployed during the Capitol riot and the Army delayed telling them to mobilize in a bombshell hearing next week. DailyMail.com can exclusively reveal that at least three officers will appear Wednesday before a House subcommittee to claim their stories were also ignored. People, listen to this. They were ignored by guess who? Who do you think ignored their stories? Do you think this is the first time that anybody in a position of power heard about this? No. Who do you think heard about this earlier on and didn't want anything to do with it? Come on, light it up in the chat. I want to see if you guys can guess who knew about this earlier but did not want anything to do with these whistleblowers who said this this is happening, okay? So let's see. I still don't see uh, uh, anybody answering it. Well, I'll, I'll just tell There you go. Somebody got it. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon Postma got it. The J6 committee and Pelosi. Yeah, now you guys are all chiming in. Yeah, Cheney, I'm sure, knew too. Uh, so um, let me just see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, Miley did. Oh, uh, at least. So <laughs> I'm getting back to where I was in the article. Claim their stories were also ignored by the Democrat led J6 committee because it did not fit their narrative. Okay. So those officers claimed their stories were ignored by the J6 committee. The hearing will aim to further prove that acting defense secretary at that time, Christopher Miller, did give advance approval of D.C. National Guard deployment at the direction of then-President Donald Trump. Remember, again, this all came out in the Colorado ballot case, and that's why Jack Smith could not go forward with the insurrection charges, why he dropped those the other year, because he knew even he couldn't get this. Just last summer, he dropped that. He couldn't go after the insurrection charge. There was too much in President Trump's favor because he had actually done all of this. A person familiar with the review by House Administration Committee's Oversight Subcommittee said the whistleblowers will provide testimony that then Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy delayed by at least two hours providing official notice to D.C. National Guard Commander William Walker to deploy troops to the Capitol. Did you guys catch this? So there's a guy, acting Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy, delayed by at least two hours. Remember how they're always talking, oh, Trump should have said something sooner. (laughs) This is so ridiculous. Uh, When we get to the truth of the matter, instead of getting to the bottom of the breakdown in communication and focusing on improving military preparedness for future incidents, the witnesses feel the J6 panel was solely focused on pinning blame for the events that day on Trump. Capitol Police Chief Steve Sun and D.C. National Guard leader Major General Walker said that Army Lieutenant General Walter Piott who was Army Staff Director at the time of the event, delayed or ignored Sun's request for National Guard support. They accused Piat of saying, I don't like the visual 
of the National Guard standing a police line with the Capitol in the background. No, the vi they, why didn't they want that visual? They had no problem with the visual ex post facto when there was no problems. The, the, the DC wasn't under any threat. And instead, they had no problem with the visual of lining up stupid fences everywhere and having da National Guard troops roam around with, <laughs> oh my gosh, with AR-15s that they tell us we can't own. Actually, those would have been, you know, M4s, whatever. But I just, anybody can see through this if they are a critical thinker. Hey, good to see Florida on the stream. Laura Phillips, good to see you on. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Please do chat in with where you're from if you're new to the stream right now and smash that like button if you would. I ran out of notifications today, so I'm really trying to get this stream out there. But uh, think of how wicked these people are. Today, there are hundreds of men and women in prison for their actions on January 6th. These rotten officials like Nancy Pelosi know this, but do not care how many lives they destroy to take down Trump. I want you to think about that. These people who have been out there in pretrial detention at the D.C. Gulag, never even getting a trial. Hippie dippy, good to see you on. And they're out there and... Uh, They've been waiting, and some of them in solitary confinement, denied their constitutional rights to a speedy trial. This is sick. Another thing, I need to let you know about a couple upcoming things going on, okay? There are three rhinos I want gone, and I'm going to be interviewing the candidates, actually two rhinos and one person I just really want in there. So um, I will tell you, I'm going to be interviewing uh, a guy by the name of Dan Free. He's out of Nebraska. Okay. And so he's against Don Bacon is who he's trying to oust down there. And he's within single digits. We can get that seat flipped. Okay. So we don't have a rhino there anymore. Big. If you're in Nebraska, you got to get the word out. We've got to get rid of Don Bacon. I've got another one out of Washington State that I'm going to be having on. Um, I've been in touch with all of them, so my daughter's going to be scheduling for me. And then we also have, I don't know how many of you saw, um, I did a video a little while ago, and Adam uh, uh, Morgan, Morgan, uh, he is he is going to be on the show as well, as well as I'm going to have Lectern Guy on from J. Six. So there's a, there's a, some some big interviews coming up. Make sure you've got your notifications on so you can get notified of those interviews. Uh, like I said, I am going to be uh, filming a documentary next week. I'm going to be starting uh, with that, and then um, we're going to have those uh, those interviews. And we have got to get behind these candidates who can oust these rhinos. It is so so imperative. Okay, so. Anyways, I'd rephrase that, big brother. I don't know what that's all about. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, we got to get rid of these rhinos. So, um, Adam Morgan and others. Uh, so, sound is good. Some people were saying sound is bad. Um, yeah, well, hopefully the sound issue got fixed for you all. Uh, so, thank you, Liberty Bound. Thank you for that comment. Um, again, uh Please support the sponsors. They do support the show, the cycle with them. So mypillow.com and also Midas. Silver has gone up so much. I bought silver a couple weeks ago. It's up over 20% my silver. Uh, just in a couple short weeks. Uh, it's a lot better than a savings account right now. And plus, I know it'll never go to zero. So, um, you know, the American dollar currencies can go to zero. All right. I mean, they can. So, uh Midas Gold Group, you can text Lumberjack to 232425 to receive free silver with a qualifying order or call them at 480-360-3000. Hey, somebody said they need pillows. I'm serious. Go right now because he's got those pillows on the Spectacular or the Spring Spectacular sale. Uh, they are only $25 for the Giza Premium Pillows. Call them, actually. Here, don't go to the website. Here, I'm going to give you guys the phone number because if you're getting a pillow, make sure you get the right pillow. 800 568 2865. If you talk to them, they will guide you through the process of getting the right pillow. I got to get to Denise Ann's comment. Do you think Pelosi will be the first domino to fall? 
you know, Denise Ann, I, I don't think it's going to be, I'm going to love your comment and everything, but I don't know that Pelosi will be the first domino to fall. Um, something else, I, I believe, I, I believe we're going to get some grace and I believe Trump will be elected president. I do, uh, um, I don't know what we're going to see happen, but I think the first thing that we could see happen is these J6ers uh, actually start to see some justice. And that's what I really want, uh, you know, for these people who were, were there. A grandma walking through the Capitol? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? She's a 70-year-old grandma walking through the Capitol, and they're sentencing her to prison? I mean, give me a break. You know, and then you read stuff like this and you realize that they had all the tools and the ability to stop this from ever happening, but they were so desperate to have the narrative, okay? If you just jumped on the stream, we covered this whole story throughout the stream, so you'll have to go backwards. But again, we've got some big interviews coming up. We're trying to get rid of some rhinos, uh, so that's very important as well. Um, if you guys want me to, I'll keep going here. We'll dig up a couple other stories I don't know if you guys saw, uh, there was a pro-Palestinian activist in Bakersfield who threatened the mayor with murder, okay? I'm not kidding you. I, it was crazy. I mean, it's uh, you can watch that. It's actually one of the featured stories on the Gateway Pundit right now. Um, so that's that's a big one. Uh, there, there's been so much that's happened today. I don't know if you guys have been following, um, but Elon Musk is fighting the good fight with censorship in Brazil. So for those who don't know what went on in Brazil, Lula is a basically avowed socialist communist dictator, okay? Um, and this guy, yeah, she was arrested, that gal, OG dog, I saw that comment. But Congress has actually asked Elon Musk about which specific crimes are being broken in Brazil. And, you know, Elon Musk tweeted out and said, you know, things are getting spicy. But Elon Musk is, Twitter is not perfect. I want you to understand that. Twitter is not perfect. My X handle or Twitter handle is down below. And I think Hippy Dippy shared it just a little bit ago. Follow me over there. I, I repost some great stuff that I just don't have time to get out in the news here on the videos. So, uh, it's a great source to get news, and you really need to have some multiple places you can pick up news from because you never know what's going to happen, okay? Uh, things are crazy out there right now. Catfish Chucky's on. Good to see you, Catfish. Um, so I just I just wanted to bring that up. But uh, yeah, here's what Elon Musk had tweeted. He said, just received an inquiry from the U.S. House of Representatives regarding actions taken in Brazil that were in violation of Brazilian law. There were hundreds, if not thousands, this is getting spicy. And Javier Mille went to Florida to meet with Musk and pledged his support with the legal proceedings in Brazil, according to Argentine spokesman Manuel Adorni. By the way, I really want Trump to go full Mille on this government, okay? Um, what's up going on with Catfish? I didn't even see the comments. So if you're following for the news here, I, I, there's something going on with Catfish. Chuck, who's been a long time... A listener of this show and is one of my mods. I didn't see uh, what's what's going on. I'll try and watch the the uh, the comments here. But um, so yeah, if uh, uh, if there's something uh, prostate cancer, my gosh, catfish. I am so sorry. Uh, so uh, we're gonna pray for catfish right now, everybody. We're gonna take a break here and uh, say a prayer for catfish. So anyhow, Father God, we just thank you and praise you for who you are, for all you've done, for your great and glorious power. You are the maker of all things, the creator of this world, and you made all things good. You made it beautiful. And Lord, we just ask right now that you would come and just touch catfish in such a way that that cancer would be completely gone. I have seen you do it before. I know you are able I ask, Lord, that you reach into Catfish's heart, and if there's any seeds of bitterness in his life against anything or anybody, Lord, I ask that you root that out and that you give him peace. Um, 
and uh, just just touch him in a special way with your love, with your grace, and with your healing power. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So, um, yeah, um, catfish, get well. Uh, get well. Take that healing and own it, all right? Because uh, I have seen the Lord do amazing, amazing things, okay? Um, so, but... Uh, Javier Mille uh, canned like 5,000 uh, government workers right away. So, I mean, he is really, he's cutting federal agencies. And that's what we need to do here in the U.S., okay? Uh, that's exactly what needs to happen. Um, by the way, if you're new to the show, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you on board over here. We have a great audience, uh, great comments in the chat and so on. Uh, I've got a great video I just put together, people. <laughs> uh, it's going to go out tomorrow morning. I want notifications to go out on it. So I'm going to set it up to uh, uh, release tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah. I want to thank you for joining me on this stream. Okay. Love y'all. Keep fighting a good fight. Uh, I know things can get us down. I mean, I was, I was frustrated. I was so frustrated earlier today with that whole Mike Johnson thing and the FBI and their overreach and the FISA court. I was just sick to my stomach, ticked off about it. Uh, but, um, here, somebody else, uh, Daniel Patrick had a comment. Just saw Mike from Red Bar is investigating you. He showed leaked texts with six, hope they're fake. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> I don't know who Mike from Red Bar is or anything. Uh, so that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> so uh, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I got uh, Denise Ann. Looks like, oh, no, she, I got hers already. It looks like, no, she has another one. Good law is filing a case to have Trump's gag order removed. Please pray he is successful. Good law. SIC. All right. Father God, we just pray that that gig order is removed. We pray that that is successful. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you in Jesus name. So anyways, um, yeah, keep fighting the good fight folks. It's, uh, life's a crazy deal. Life's a crazy deal. So, uh, love y'all. All right. See you on the next episode. Peace out.